Hello! Before we start, don't forget that if you find yourself enjoying this video, please give us a like and subscribe. Now let's get straight in. No intro, let's go! Hey, I said no intro. Number 1. Multi-tool If you thought the first multi-tool made was by Leatherman, or even by the Swiss Army, you couldn't be further from the truth. It is in fact a lot older, almost 2,000 years older. This Roman multi-tool has a spoon, a fork, a knife, a spike, a spatula, and a small toothpick, and it was made of silver except for the blade which was iron. It was discovered in the Mediterranean area in the late 1980s, and is believed to have belonged to a wealthy traveller. If you like the design, you can actually buy a replica made in brass for 90 euros. If you want to know where to get one, let us know in the comments. Number 2. Tesseract on Terres when we think of huge ships, we think of oil tankers and aircraft carriers. But huge ships aren't a modern thing. The Tesseract on Terras was a massive ship that was built in the 3rd century BC by Ptolemy IV. The ship was a catamaran and was 420 feet long and 57 feet wide. That's about the same size as Noah's Ark, or roughly half the length of the HMS Titanic. And it was made entirely out of wood. It was so big it took 4,000 thousand oarsmen to move it. These oarsmen had to be configured in three separate rows at different heights just to be able to fit them in. The ship could carry the 4,000 oarsmen plus 400 crew members and it could also carry nearly 3,000 soldiers. Number 3. Pump Action Crossbow Around 400 BC, a time when most armies were using spears, swords and shields, the first crossbows were appearing. But the Chinese were using a pump action crossbow. This invention meant that loading time was drastically reduced and one archer could rapidly fire up to 10 arrows without having to stop to reload. The weapon did have rather a limited range, just 250 feet. So the archers poisoned the arrowheads so just a scratch would kill their adversary. Number 4. Chariot Factory Henry Ford is generally credited as being the father of the mass production assembly line, but this isn't actually true. Over 3,000 years ago, Pharaoh Ramesses II was preparing for the Battle of Kadesh. He ordered a city to be built, the city of Ramesses. This city was to be part pleasure palace and part military camp with a number of factories. These factories were to produce weapons, shields and of course chariots. The factories produced an incredible 250 chariots every two weeks and they managed this by building the parts of the chariot separately and then assembling them in what would now be called a mass production assembly line. Number 5. Hydraulic Hammer these hammers are powered by a water wheel that turns a camshaft that has staggered lugs on it. These lugs push down on the hammer's handle, lifting it up. Once the lug passes, the hammer falls. This invention was used in Italy around the 1st century AD for pounding grain, and was later used for tanning leather and then also in mining. However, these water-powered hammers were actually in use in China some time beforehand and were used to crush rice for flour. Some Chinese historians say the invention dates back as far far as the Zhou Dynasty, which is between 1050 to 221 BC. Number 6. Pulleys Archimedes lived around 200 BC and without his inventions we wouldn't be where we are today. He is credited with inventing the lever, but this isn't true, he merely explained how it works. He did, however, invent the block and tackle pulley system. This system enabled heavy loads to be lifted by fewer men. The principle of leverage and his pulley system were key components in his invention, the Claw of Archimedes. This claw was used to defend the city of Syracuse. The claw was dropped in the water and when a ship sailed over it, it was pulled up. The lever and the pulley system allowed relatively few men to pull the ship up out of the water and then let it drop. This caused great damage to the ship and could even sink it. Number 7. Robots Robots may seem like a futuristic thing, but the first robot was actually made by Heron of Alexandria in the 1st century AD. This cart used strings wound around its axles and then tied to a counterweight to make it move. Heron worked out that by putting pegs into the axles at different intervals and changing the direction the string was wrapped around the axle, a wheel would stop or turn in the opposite direction. He could then calculate where to position the pegs and how many times to wind the string to effectively 
programmed the robot to move exactly how he wanted. If you enjoyed this video, you are now obliged to give us a like and comment below. Failure to do so could be disastrous to the world as we know it. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.